Venture capital or VC firms face a variety of unique and potent risks that expose the firm and the general partners to potentially devastating lawsuits and other claims. Risks can arise from investors, from investee companies, and other third parties. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the key insurance policies that VCs need to consider and how to get them. Hi, I'm Gordon Coyle. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about the risk and insurance issues on the minds of business owners. As an experienced and expert business insurance broker, my videos are intended to bring you information and knowledge to help make you a more informed insurance buyer. If there's anything discussed here that you'd like to learn more about, reach out and let's connect. So venture capital insurance, what are the coverages you need and why? I'm gonna answer this at a fairly high level and get into more nitty gritty details about each of these policies in separate videos. So the first policy most often purchased by a VC firm is a combined DNO plus ENO policy. It goes by several names from different insurance companies such as Asset Manager Protector, Venture Asset Protector, VCAP, and many other names. Regardless of the product name, this policy is intended to protect you and your team from the two biggest exposures you have. The first is DNO protection, which covers claims which allege the wrongful management of the firm and your fund that led to financial loss or damage by a third party, such as an investor. This can include claims alleging breach of duty, misuse of company funds. The second part of this policy is similar and covers claims which allege an error or omission or the failure of your professional services which led to financial damages. The second coverage part of this policy is known as E&O insurance or professional liability insurance. These coverage parts are critical since claims that arise here will often name the individual leaders for their acts which led to the loss and that means personal assets are at risk. Get the coverage wrong here and your leadership team could be on the hook personally for defense costs and settlements. Next on the list of important coverages for a VC would be cyber insurance. The threat of cyber events only grows every month and firms that handle money are huge targets for hackers. Cyber insurance protects a firm from ransomware threats, loss of data, damage to data, wire transfer fraud, and lawsuits which allege failing to safely protect data and much more. Third on my list of needed coverages would be commercial crime insurance to protect money and securities from the threats that exist in handling your money and the money of your investors. Fourth would be employment practice liability insurance, commonly known as EPLI. And this covers the firm and its leaders from claims which allege wrongful employment acts like discrimination, harassment, wrongful termination, hostile work environment, and more. A policy often combined with EPLI is fiduciary liability, and that coverage protects the trustees of any ERISA-based plan, such as 401ks, from claims which allege wrongdoing in managing that plan. These four policies form the crux of your protection from claims, lawsuits, and costs which can be enormously expensive to deal with in operating a VC fund. I recommend that the DNO plus ENO policy and cyber insurance policy be purchased at startup of the firm. Adding the crime, EPLI, and fiduciary down the road if your budget is tight. Now, a few other conventional forms of insurance that need to be considered as well. First is a business owner's policy, which is often called a BOP policy to protect you from basic general liability and property risks. Second is workers' compensation insurance. If you have employees, you're required by law to have workers' comp. Now, many startup VCs will deploy a PEO to do their HR payroll, and that often includes workers' comp, so this may not be a big issue. Finally, let's talk about costs. The cost of the various insurance policies I mentioned will be based on your particular firm's characteristics, the size of your fund, your strategy, the experience of your leadership team, geography, and many other factors. I'm gonna give you some rough ideas of premiums here, but to get firm numbers, give me a call so we can collect the underwriting information we need to produce actual proposals. For the combined DNO and ENO policy, most new startup VCs are gonna be in the ballpark of like $10,000 to $15,000 of annual premium. And for the cyber premiums, we're looking at a range of like $1,500 to $3,000. All these coverages are for $1 million policy limits. On the crime, EPLI, and other lines of coverage, those are highly dependent on the limits and other underwriting factors, so it's difficult to make estimates here. 
But the bottom line is that if you're a startup VC or an established player and you want to work with an experienced insurance professional to help you craft an insurance program that fits your needs and can grow with you over time, the COIL Group has extensive experience working with financial service firms and we also have incredible reach in the market to be sure that no stone is unturned to get you the best combination of price and coverage. If you're looking for coverage for the first time or an alternate on your renewal, why not give me a call and let's chat. My contact info is in the description box below and I look forward to speaking with you. Thanks.